Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 11 in chapter 23. Chapter 23 is about electric potential. We can see there we have a uniform electric field. This is a vector. Electric field vector E is given. It is pointing to the negative x direction, right? And now we have A, B, C, three points. So we need to determine the difference in potentials. So first case, we can see we need to find the potential difference between the B and A, right? As we talk about for electric field lines, it travels from high potentials to lower potentials, agree? And then if we want to find the electric potential, we use the electric field times the displacement, right? Dot uh, displacement. So in this case, we first find the displacement A, B. So we use the final position B minus initial position B. So we just have the Y component there. And then we introduce E dot D. We get the answer there. It's just zero. That makes sense because we, you can see if we connect the A and the B, they just perpendicular to the electric field nice. So they have the same electric potential, right? Second case, we need to find the potential difference B, C, right? So we first write the displacement C, B. So use the final position C minus initial position. We get the vector at there. And then we use E dot D. So we get the answer there. You can see this part, it becomes the negative C, B, right? Because we see the electric potentials travels, or the electric field lines travels from high potential to lower potential. In this case, if you want to find the potential C to B, so just a negative. The next case is C to A. So still, we need to find displacement C with the A. So use the final position C minus the initial position A. So we get the a displacement vector C A. Look like this one, it has two components, x component and the y component. Then we use the e dot the displacement, get the answer there. Thank you.